All right, y'all, let's hit it. We're getting ready to hit another restaurant. It's a taco joint, so they're closed for business right now. Well, closed for operations anyway, so I'm going to meet up with this guy going here and snap some photos and just walk around his business and photograph and just check it out. This is an insurance inspection, by the way. All right, so this is a spot right here, so we're going to go check it out. And this is basically my survey here, um, just some different questions that I need to answer and things like that. It's like three pages. Oh, that's the second page. Like three pages long or two and a half pages. Some of the things that I'm looking for is like the parking lot area. I'm going to be photographing like the sidewalks. I need to know what this building is constructed of. And as you can see, it's really constructed of brick. And then I just determine what else it is constructed of, if it's more than brick or whatever. And then I need to look at the roof or photograph the roof and see what kind of roof it is or even ask the owner what type of roof it is. I'm looking for exterior lighting. Also, any security cameras and things like that. So on the outside, really all I'm looking for is damages, what the building is constructed of, I'm looking at the roof, making sure, you know, there's no issues. And because this is a restaurant, I need to look at what the adjacent um, properties are. What kind of, if they're businesses, residential homes and things like that. As you can see, part of this is a re another restaurant and on top of that is other residential homes, which could possibly make this restaurant a liability to some of the surrounding properties. Let's just say a uh, fire breaks out. Well, if a fire breaks out in this particular business, then some of the other businesses here will be uh, affected by that. So by this particular property being a restaurant, we need to check for any other type of liabilities inside. We want to make sure that they have fire extinguishers. We want to see if they have a sprinkler system because all of these things will prevent or has a possibility to prevent fire from spreading to other spaces. It's another reason why they want the building construction. What is the building constructed of? Because it does make a difference because if it's all wood, guess what? This property is going to go up in the flames really, really quickly. So with insurance inspections, it's important to know and learn uh, different aspects of what insurance companies look for. Now, it may sound like a lot, but I'm telling you, you know, just without, I didn't have any and any experience with insurance inspections when I jumped on board with this company. However, it took me about a month to really learn the, the ropes of things and really start jumping into this industry. With that being said, insurance inspections are probably the most difficult to get on with, but they do pay the highest. And once you get your feet wet with some of the other inspections, these inspections become a breeze.